Okay, so here we have our pillow sewn and you can see right here is where we left the opening. So what I'm going to show you now is how we can trim down the seam. This right here is the seam that we've created. So you can see the edges of the inside now and it's sewn like that. So we're just going to trim down our seam. And then here we're going to cut right across. So you can see right here it's cut right across. Now if we want to cut this down even more, you can kind of separate the fabric and trim that in a little bit and it'll reduce the bulk that's right in there at the, at the seam at the corner. And then you can do the same thing on the other side. And then just continue trimming your seam down all the way around the edge of the pillow. So now at this point, once you have your seam trimmed down, is when you go over and you zigzag over the edge. Now here we have an example. You can see right here, the zigzag goes right over the edge. And then some of these threads will still pull out and you can trim them off, but then after that they won't continue to fray along the seam. I have another example to show you of a basic seam. You can see right here, we just sewed a straight seam right here, and this is sewn at 5 eighths inches as well. So this is two fabrics right sides together. And you can see that this is fraying pretty heavily. This is a fabric that you definitely would want to finish the edges. So here I'm going to show you, once we lay the fabric out straight, and I'm doing this on my little tiny ironing board here, but you can do this on a full size ironing board. We're going to press the seam open so you can see right here that the seam is sticking up and you have two sides of the fabric. So this side right here is the right side. This is the finished side of the seam right here. So you'll have your seam open and then with the iron you'll just press right down into the seam. So that'll press the two edges open flat. And then you have a nice crisp seam. It's nice and flat and the seam and the inside of the seam is pressed open. At this point if you wanted to go back and zigzag these edges you'd simply just move this out of the way so that you're only sewing right here on this edge and only through this one piece of fabric and you can zigzag over the edge. You can zigzag all the edges of your pieces before sewing them together so that at this point when this is pressed open, your edge is already zigzagged. <laughs>